G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is I want to head into the town because hopefully I've left it long enough that we do have some activities to do today. So not quite like what happened in the previous video where we had absolutely nothing, not a zip zilch that I was able to do and it was a bit of a hangout video which was fine it was okay it was just boring that the fact that I just didn't have anything to do and and to be perfectly honest with you it was the first time that I have ever actually had that happen to me so hopefully um, that doesn't happen again I hope not but anyway we will check things out anyway for what they are interested in some real hunting I want to see what you've got here you still got the same quests, they're not going to change. Honestly, I'd probably, if I were to do one of these, I'd be more inclined doing uh, the deer at this point, just for the oats purely. So I'll go ahead and do that anyway. So I won't be doing that today. What I want to do is I want to find a new um, base to raid. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to go ahead and raid another base and see what it's all about as you can see here I am quite prepared um, you may be asking asking the question why why am I not wearing any armor well to put it simply going off the original video that I did um, I noticed that I was um, finding armor for my player so I figured I may as well go unprotected I've got a decent weapon, so if I do end up getting attacked or anything like that, I shouldn't have a problem. So that's my theory behind it. I'm thinking that should be fine, but we don't know until we jump into player 2897's base and see what's what. So as we sort of wait for the loading screen to come through, here we go. We can go around and see if we can... Um, get some decent uh, bits and pieces here now I have got some additional oh, we do have someone oh there he, there he is hey as you can see not much of an issue was able to take him out um, what do we get here I might leave this on him for now because I doubt I'm gonna get any sort of interruptions or anything like that so I don't think I should have a problem with that but let's go and scope out the base. Okay, so it looks like one of those block bases again. So pretty much what we had in the previous video. So if I just sort of do a quick scan around, just so you guys can see exactly what we're dealing with here. And I think from there, and as you can see from here, you can see the windows there, you can see that there is a bit of a corridor happening. So. I'm assuming it's going to be a very similar base to what we had before. So, with that being said and done, of course, let us break our way in. And I would imagine, once I do get myself in, it's going to be one of these um, perimeter-style bases where you can sort of run around the... Uh, the edges around here and find your way into one area as soon as I get to the center I would suspect that there's going to be um, a Brick stone brick. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Yeah stone brick So once I get into that, I think it'll open up and then I can sort of work my way out So let's just whoop, no 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 this one. Yeah, there you go and then we can sort of break it a little bit. Now, I'm not too sure whether or not um, bases do tend to change as we sort of move along. Am I blocked here? I think I am. I, I think I'm blocked by that campfire, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if the bases change format or anything like that, that I could honestly tell you, but it looks like it actually has. Okay. So what I'm trying to work out is the whole perimeter and at least this way I can sort of work my way out as I sort of go along and once I've established that it shouldn't be too much of a problem for me to um, uh, you know get everything else so loot all that sort of stuff can I bust open this 
will this prevent me from moving across if I bust open this part here? Oh no. Ah, there you go. Sort of gotten a bit of a, um, a way through. Well, how am I doing for hatches? I am actually out of hatches here. So I did bring the steel axe uh, with me. I don't know whether or not that that's such a good idea or not. I have no idea. But we're going to give it a crack and see how far I get. I did end up um, craft up a whole lot more uh, hatches as well. So I should be fine if that happens. And I would suspect that's the, yep, that was the dynamite area. And I just wanted to sort of give us a bit of a opening all around here. And as you can see, I am finding everything all well and good, but it's a little bit more uh, intricate as the one, um, the previous video actually. So, previous raid. There's a lot of obstacles for me to overcome, which is fine, which is actually good because it, I do enjoy the player level difficulty for you to um, raid a such a base. So that's always good. But what I can do is I can pop that there allow that to break open and that should give me accessibility to bypass that there we go oh no okay, I guess not oh well it was a good theory in itself so let's break open this and let's go over here because I've pretty much come full circle when you when you sort of look at it on the minimap there so at least I have broken my way through I don't know if there's anything else around here honestly um, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't believe that would be the case because, well, that's just a massive open little corridor here. Am I wasting the, the axe? I am. I know I am. Um, but it saves me from running back home to get the other axes that I've already, um, crafted up. So I may as well do it. Why not? I doubt that there's going to be anything in here as it is. The perimeter around here, I doubt that there's going to be anything either, so I think we're sort of safe on that. I, I am interested to see what's in here. There we go. So we've got another workstation over here. I would suspect that there may be something over here, potentially, maybe, not sure. So you sort of get to know the base once you sort of opened it up, and you can use that as information as you um, start to raid other bases as well. And hopefully that just sort of gives you a little bit more, um, you know, more of an indication as to what, uh, where you should be attacking. And I, I always sort of speak this only on the, the pure matter of, you know, making it as efficient as possible for you to, you know, raid such a base or any sort of base for that matter. And yeah, we're, we're pretty much, we're pretty much through. So what I can basically do for me here is I can. Uh, start busting things open. Let's get into the um, into the center anyway, as it is. So we made our way in. Let's go ahead and drop the dynamite. Boom. Nothing here just yet. I'll be disappointed to see if, if we don't get anything good in here. But that's why I brought all the dynamite anyway. Well, there we go. Okay. So honestly there wasn't anything in the center and there was absolutely nothing for me to grab from here. So that was really disappointing. Doesn't matter. Now for some reason I can't get past this. Can I get past this now? No I cannot. Well the forge had absolutely nothing for me. Uh, blacksmith table? No it's just the workbench. Uh, let's bust open this fella here and I want to get to this. What do we have? Wow. We're getting absolutely nothing out of this. Ooh, oh, good. Look at that. Well, that was totally worth it. That was totally worth it. Sacrifice one steel axe for another? Yeah, okay. I will I will take that. I'll, whilst taking that, I'll take a few of these things here. Because uh, right now, ooh, nice, okay. Let's grab some of this. Actually, just take all of it. What are you doing? Okay, what do we have here? I only just take that. Oh, okay. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, 
we're through here. I'll grab some of that. Let's get out of that. What's in here? Actually, you know what I'm doing? Um, I should be doing that <laughs> the other way around. Okay, cool. We've got some cooked fish. That's always good to grab. What do we have here? We have some ash plank. Very, very good. What do I have over here? Um, oh, okay. What do we have here? Grab that and that and that. And I'll grab some of that. Weird, I didn't find any clothing so far. Only on what's on our, um, our player that we uh, killed beforehand. So, oh, no, 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 no. The herbal table. That's what you want. There you go. Fill up on that. No, why do you keep doing that? Um, ooh, nice. Got some food. Chow on that. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Go back. May as well just take the lot because I need it for my efforts, of course. Ooh, nice. Um, Alright, I want to take all the water bottles, the fish, cooked meat, I shall eat up. Tender meat I will take. Alright, I'm going to have to race back over and uh, drop a couple of things off. Here we go. Trying to weasel my way out of here. There I am. Okay, hey horsey. Um, I shall throw you and you in there. I doubt I'll need any of those. So that's only left left me with a few spots. And we'll see how we do with this. Hopefully, no, no, stop hitting things. What are you doing? All right, I wanted to take these only because I can create more infusions. And also the, um, the corn I want to grab and so I can make some alcohol. Uh, I'll grab the tender meat, why not? Uh, well, I'm pretty good with this, so what I can do is I'll swap that out for that. Get the stack of that. Uh, the fish, what do I do with the fish? I'm not too sure yet, but I can always come back here, so that's definitely not an issue. But that's pretty much um, the player's base. Nice and easy. I'm not going to obviously bust open up the perimeter here because there's not going to be anything here. I don't, I don't suspect that there will be. But if I really wanted to do something like that, I can just easily just bust open you know, a section here. And I think there will be just only a couple sections over here and there. If I really want to decimate the whole base, I can. But... Like I said, I doubt it's going to really amount to anything, so we'll um, we'll leave it alone. I think we've done okay here. So I can head out, and do I want to take anything off here? Off him? Um, really? Well, that's the only thing that I'm able to take. So I'm going to be making another trip back anyway, and I'll drop a few things off, and. We can always head back and just grab everything, so it really, really doesn't matter, does it? I don't think it does, to be honest. Um, what little event popped up? Just that. That's okay. All I want to do now is just race back home. We'll drop a few things off, and yeah, I think we've done okay. Not a bad little haul. Is it worth 200 coins? Honestly. You got to look at it from up from other other aspects. So what I mean by that, once we sort of load in, let's go ahead and open up this guy here. So a few things that we've got. Let's have a look first. So these things, a lot of people would. Well, look, they'll be really happy if they got you know a few of these things here. The the still axe that I picked up that's in my um, in the horse there. You know will go a long way game wise so if you've got the coin and things like that to use it it may be worth it but you've got to look at what you if you were to invest money look so let's go back to our money side here so in order for you to get say 200 coins and if you were to purchase it it's over well Australian dollars it's 23 dollars okay I'm, I'm rounding it up you get an extra 75 coins but I wouldn't even really do it to be honest with you um, but if you were to sort of take, uh, check out some resources here, definitely not worth it. Um, the only thing that I would spend coins on is, you know, oats. 
I would honestly just spend it on, on oats at this point. That's just me, but again, everyone else has different opinions on that. So yeah. And then you got some of the supplies, you got the best ones over here, so to speak. Um, again, you roll your luck. I think it's worth it. That's just my opinion on it. But again, that's it's all subjective. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I actually don't have a drop chest. I've just realized I, I need to make one of those. I need to make a, a an extremely large chest so I can uh, drop these things off uh, sooner rather than later, basically. And a lot of people did ask in the comments in, in previous videos that I've noticed, um, why have I got so much um, storage chests? Well, simple. I've been playing this game for a very long time. Um, off and on, but I've always kept my save file. So, the reason why that I have a lot of storage is prior to these storage containers being made available to us, I've been able to um, pretty much grab or make as much storage as possible and uh, max it out essentially. And once they, or well, sorry, the developers did decide to make um, these storage containers, they uh, limited the amount of chests that you could have. Um, as it were so I pretty much was lucky enough to get away with everything that um, you see on the map here so um, you know look it is good from, uh, you know for me from my perspective I guess but for other people look I, I get it it's probably not um, uh, you guys are, are sort of you know not having the luxury of obtaining more uh, storage, but this is where the developer would primarily would want you to invest more in um, the storage containers. Upgrade them. You will get a lot of storage, so that that's that's definitely not off the table. You do get a lot of storage for your troubles, so don't think it's you know all a um, a, a bad thing. So that that's just my opinion on that. Um, but again, that comes down to how you guys perceive that at the end of the day. Um, but I know you do get a limited amount of storage um, chests that you can um, uh, obtain for yourselves. So, look, you it, it's the way that they want you to play the game. The mechanic is basically upgrade your storage containers and the limited amount of chests that you have, you always, well, you would be more inclined to upgrade them too. And I, I guess in a way, when you sort of look at it from one perspective, is that you don't, it, it won't um, make you create a base based on your storage containers, okay, if that makes sense. So I, I mean purely that you won't have um, a base that's just overrun by, um, you know, storage. And you can't make aesthetically pleasing bases or nice looking bases for yourself. So I guess that's probably one thing. And I, I guess, and I think that would be a very good um, uh, assumption to, you know, to sort of come from. So yeah, that's just my opinion on it. I mean, everyone else has different opinions on that. Um, a lot of people would be more um, inclined to have storage chests. I get that. And they don't care how their base looks like. Um, so long as they've got everything that, that uh, that they need um, but yeah I just figured I just you know explain what I think about that myself wanted to come back and get that mainly that was the real reason oh, okay well you broke that good on you uh, kitchen nothing there and I wanted to grab some of this you know what grab all the berries things like that so yeah for me I would have to upgrade a lot of my storage containers because I am running out I do have some hidden chests around my base, so um, where I've got all my um, uh, my defenses around the perimeter, I do have some basic chests that I have saved. Um, I haven't upgraded them or touched them, but I still need to. I actually need to redesign my base, and that's that. That's where that's at. And the other reason why I sort of wanted to do some raiding is I can sort of get some ideas on how to um, you know make that look. And I was sort of thinking about making something like this. I don't know whether or not that's going to be boring, but I don't know. Let me know what you think because I can easily turn my base into something like this and, and have it for what it is. So, yeah, I don't know. I absolutely have no no clue, but I figured, you know, why not? 
um, put it out there, see what you guys think. Um, you know what, I may just grab that and just use it up anyway. Um, this, you know, I'm just, I'll just leave it. I'll take that and that. Screw it, take it. <laughs> and so that's pretty much it. So looted, raided, successful, no problems, no issues, easy done. Have a bit of a chat with you guys today. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you didn't, uh, well, you know what to do. And if you can, share the video. That'd be helpful. And if you guys are new to the channel, enjoying Westland or any other survival games, check out the rest of my channel. I do have quite a number of games that I do play, mainly survival, but I have sort of dabbled in other type of genres as well. So be sure to check it out. And if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take it easy and catch you next time.